antimicrobial resistance occurs when bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites no longer respond to antimicrobial medicines. As a result of drug resistance, antibiotics and other antimicrobial medicines become ineffective and infections become difficult or impossible to treat increasing the risk of disease spread severe illness disability and death growing antimicrobial resistance basically means that humanity's defenses against infection are wearing thinner and the microbes responsible are getting stronger this has reached an alarming level so inappropriate use of antibiotics even for mild infection started even 20 25 years ago driven by number of factors it could be lack of awareness it could be uh, industry pressures and various other factors we then started looking at it while i was at the aims in and we one of my students actually did a thesis where it looked at amr in our, in the icu and we decided to have a policy where we then would tell our uh, uh, the doctors the resident doctors and the faculty working there that this is the resistance pattern we found some antibiotics had resistance of almost 70 to 80 percent so we decided that we will have a policy that this antibiotics we will not use and we will develop a strategy of how we will what we will do for empirical treatment of an infection and then de-escalate once the infection is clear what it is we did that with some degree of training and teaching for our residents and that did help in terms of antimicrobial resistance it's a dire picture that is becoming increasingly common over the next 25 years an estimated 39 million people are expected to die from drug resistant pathogens alone that's over five times the number of deaths from covid-19 in the last four years and yet for all the devastation amr is largely absent from public consciousness we saw that also in covid-19 that it's a viral infection where antibiotics are not required but there was a huge use of antibiotics and even now anyone who has a fever cough and cold which is very classically of a viral infection there is a lot of antibiotic which is being misused so all of this actually leads to a um, sort of antibiotics being inappropriately used then what happens is at times you see patients and we had a patient just a few days ago a young person who had uh, no comorbidities and came with fever and cough and developed a severe necrotizing pneumonia to the extent that he developed fluid in the lungs and he had to be put into a chest tube had to be put into fluid had to be drained which was pus and this was because of a resistant infection which was not adequately treated in the past and therefore he became very sick he required to be on a ventilator for some time and he was having high grade fever which was not responding luckily this patient came out although he had destruction of his lung so there was scarring in the lung but he did improve so i think it's a big challenge to treat such patients and like i mentioned that in if this had been an older patient i'm not sure whether we could have saved him or because of the type of infection that he had so what is the solution india is especially at danger of an explosion of amr and developing countries like india thus need a whole of society and whole of government approach so i think the most important thing is for us to understand that this is a real problem and as was said by the former director of the no, director general of who that we are on the verge of losing out on our miracle drugs the antibiotics and therefore it's very important for the general public to understand that it is in their for their for their own benefit that they don't misuse antibiotics don't start using it without consulting a doctor and it's important for the doctor to understand that for every symptom that the patient has antibiotics is not the solution and therefore a judicious and appropriate use of antibiotics is very important both from the point of view of the general public and from the point of view of physicians in the upcoming videos we'll speak with experts and present analysis to raise awareness around amr <laughs>